In the dim, gas-lit laboratories of late 19th century Paris, a Polish immigrant named Maurice Glodowska toiled in a leaky wooden shed that smelled of radium dust and desperation. It was 1898, and the world was a place where women were expected to marry, not chase invisible forces. But Marie, with her sharp eyes and unyielding will, had other plans. She and her husband Pierre, a fellow scientist, were hunting for the secrets hidden in uranium ore, a glowing mystery that could unlock the atom's heart. Day after day, they crushed tons of pitch blend, a foul-smelling rock from bohemian mines, boiling it down in cauldrons that scorched their hands. Pierre called it manual labor worthy of a blacksmith, but Marie saw poetry in the grind. One rainy afternoon, as thunder rattled the shed's tin roof, their Geiger counter, a clunky device that clicked like a frantic telegraph, went wild. Buried in the dregs was something new. Polonium, named for Marie's homeland, and radium, an element that shimmered like captured moonlight. The world scoffed at first. Impossible, sneered the academies, barring Marie from their clubs because of her gender and accent. But the Curies persisted. They carried sacks of the stuff on their backs to lectures, demonstrating its eerie glow, radium painted watch dials and cured the incurable, turning night into a promise of dawn. In 1903, they shared the Nobel Prize in physics, the first woman ever. Pierre died tragically soon after, crushed by a horse-drawn cart, but Marie pressed on, isolating pure radium in 1910 and winning a second Nobel in chemistry, the only person to claim two. Her discoveries birthed x-rays that saved soldiers in World War I's muddy trenches, where she drove little curies, mobile units glowing with her elements, to heal the wounded. Yet radium's kiss was double-edged. It poisoned her bones, leaving her frail and glowing faintly from within when she died in 1934.